This is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review, and this is the HTC Dash 3G on T-Mobile US. As you might guess from the name, this is a 3G smartphone, and it replaces the Dash. It really isn't an evolution of the Dash per se. It really is an HTC Snap, which is an all-new design. But there are a lot of similarities. It's a QWERTY bar phone that's fairly thin. And it has a somewhat grippy back. It's not as grippy as the original Dash was with its soft touch finish that most everybody, including us, loved. It's got the same QVGA display. This one's a little bit brighter, I think, and more vivid than the Dash's is. And it's got Windows Mobile 6.1 Standard Edition non-touch screen, that means, with HTC's sliding panels home screen, as you can see here. You can set up email account access right from the front, SMS messages, call management, voicemail, even the weather. Launch your web favorites. As you can see, I'm cycling through a variety of bookmarks that are on the device. And you can control music, playback. Set your profiles, too, and go to recently used programs. The phone has 3G on T-Mobile's 1700 MHz and 2100 MHz bands, and it has Edge, so it can roam anywhere in the world of GSM services available. It has Wi-Fi as well, along with Bluetooth, including, A2DP, including A2DP stereo profile. Let's take a look at the keyboard. This is a nice version of the HTC Snap keyboard. The keys are very large. They do butt up against each other, but they're very domed. And they have a lot of tactile feel. And they're about as large as they possibly could be on a device of this size. Likewise for the call management buttons, your soft keys, home and back. We'll compare that to the Snap on Sprint, also recently released. As you can see, the Sprint has a small configuration, but the keys are a lot smaller. Not nearly as good, and the D-pad is very different. Here you've got a kind of slick oval, which is, in fact, kind of slippery. I prefer this one. It's a lot easier to use. And the best part is, especially for those of you who have ever used a BlackBerry, this guy has a trackball, which you don't see on Windows Mobile devices very often. It makes it way easier to navigate through web pages and things like that, or maps, compared to the old traditional D-pad here. The phone also has a GPS. It works with Telenav, which is offered through T-Mobile for $10 a month. It gives you turn-by-turn -turn spoken directions, and it comes preloaded with a couple of other good applications, including Google Maps, surprisingly, which works just fine with the device. Let's take a look at mapping. You also got Windows Live Search here, too, which has very good POIs. Take a look at Telenav. So here we are in Telenav on the Dash 3G. Got driving directions, directory of POIs and services, maps and traffic, and of course tools where you can manage your settings and stuff. And as you can see, got the fix very fast. And we had not been running the GPS just before this, so it, it actually gets a fix even indoors near a window very quickly. Maps scroll around very easily with the trackball. So that's Telenav, subscription service. You can use your own Windows Mobile-based smartphone-friendly mapping and navigation software. And again, if you don't need spoken turn-by-turn dire turn directions, you can use Google Maps or Windows Live Search. Next, let's take a look at the web browser. Which you can access right from the home screen. And we'll take a look at our own web page. This is loading over to T-Mobile's 3G network. So here it is on our web page. Again, this is QVGA resolution, so you don't see a lot of the page at a time. But the screen is really sharp and vivid. Makes it nice for viewing web pages. And as you can see, it supports things like our JavaScript pop-down menus, which is something new for IE on Windows Mobile. And we've even got, sorry to say, but we've got a pop-up ad that's working just great, too. So the browser has come a long way. Again, you use the trackball to navigate.
And you can set the trackball acceleration speed. Fast or slow, however you like it. Right now it's set a little on the slow side. Especially if you're used to the Blackberry trackball, which has a lot of acceleration on it. T-Mobile is pretty good about providing a lot of instant messaging clients. And in fact, as you can see here, the Dash comes with AIM, Google Talk, Windows Live Messenger, MySpace Instant Messaging, and Yahoo Instant Messaging. Let's take a look at the YouTube client. This is HTC's own client. They started doing that on, originally on the Diamond and the Touch Pro. And now they're doing it on smartphone. All right, let's take a look at video. We'll just pick one that's randomly featured on the front page. So that looks pretty good. Sound quality is decent. The speaker on this is, speakerphone is on the back, and that's the loudspeaker back here. So that's a nice way to watch YouTube videos. Pretty good for a Windows Mobile Smartphone Edition where you don't see a whole lot of multimedia. This has a 528 megahertz processor, though, and 256 megs of RAM. So it's got the horsepower to actually play video. So that's the HTC-3G on T-Mobile. Visit Mobile Tech Review to read our full review.